Hi everyone, this is Anchal Soni. Welcome to my channel. This video is in continuation to the first part wherein we saw how to compute custom calculations for relative date filter. If you haven't already seen that video, then do go through it. Its link is there in the description. So as discussed in this video, in the second part, we'll uh, see how to compute custom calculations for range of date filter. How to make both the filters, the relative date filter and the range of date filter available for use and the use of pop-up parameters. Let's take the overview first. So we'll add a new entry in the existing parameter called as custom date. When I click on custom date, it will allow me to mention the range of dates using start date and end date. So these parameters will appear only when the fifth option that is the custom date is selected. Otherwise, these will remain hidden. Let's get started. So this is where we left in the last video. We'll start with editing the um, existing parameter. We'll add a new entry here. Let's name it as custom date. Click OK. Now, uh, when we click on uh, fifth option, then we want two new parameters to appear. So let's create those two parameters. Let's name it as start date. Uh, data type should be date in this case and create a list using order date. Click OK. Let's duplicate this and just rename it as end date. Click OK now. All right. Now we'll create a calculation to mention uh, the range of date and that calculation we'll use in the filter. So let's create a calculated field. Let's name it as custom. So the order date should be greater than equal to start date and order date should be less than equal to end date. So this is the calculation for range of dates. Click OK and now we'll include this calculation in the filter. So let's go to filter visit. Yeah. Edit and let's add another condition using else if select period equal five then show custom. Click OK. All right. So if you see here, if you click on custom date, let's show the parameters. All right. So it's 3rd of January here. So that's why it's showing just one mark. If I select, let's say, 8th of February, then it shows me data starting 3rd of January until 8th of February. So we are done with the first segment of this video. We have combined the relative date filter and the range of date filters and both the filters are available for use. In the second segment, we'll see the method for pop-up parameters and create a dashboard. Let's understand the working of pop-up parameters first. When I select any of the four options from this parameter, these two parameters get pushed by this blank sheet here and they get hidden under another blank sheet here. So uh, basically these two parameters do exist and this is more of like sheet swapping. When I select custom date, then this sheet gets collapsed and the end date and uh, uh, start date parameters take its position. So now let's see how to build this. For this, we need to create a blank sheet. Let's name it as pop-up sheet. Uh, we'll create average of one on both rows and columns. So this will give us a scatter plot. Now the idea is to create a blank sheet. So let's click and uh, 
drag this point out of the visualization and let's do some formatting to remove the lines. Let's remove grid lines, zero lines and axis rulers and also let's hide the header. So we have a blank sheet here. Now we'll direct Tableau when to show or hide this sheet. Let's create a calculated field. I'll name it as show hide. And I'll create a Boolean condition using the parameter. So when the fifth option is selected, the sheet should get collapsed. Otherwise, it should remain effective. Click OK. Bring this to filters card and select false. Click OK. Now let's create a dashboard. Uh, always remember whenever you work with proper parameters, you necessarily need containers. So I'm using horizontal containers to build the visualization. I'll bring a horizontal container here. I'll use line chart first. Okay. And now I'll bring another horizontal container into the view. Um, ensure that you drop your container only when you see this gray mark. Okay. Now, now bring select period over this container. Let's reduce the size. Now we'll use another horizontal container. This container will reside within this already existing horizontal container. Drop this only when you see this gray mark. Now we'll bring end date to the new container. Uh, we want this to occupy the entire space. So drop this here. Now we'll bring start date before end date. Uh, drop this only when you see this gray mark. Now we'll bring the pop-up sheet before start date. So let's drop it here. Drop it only when you see this gray mark here. Hide the title. Okay, you can see this is collapsed when custom date is selected. So uh, we'll just do a little bit of formatting. Let's fix the width of both the parameters here. Okay. So you can see um, the blank sheet, uh, the start date and the end date parameters are contained in one horizontal container. And this container is contained within the main container which also contains select period. So basically select period parameter is segregated from the other elements which are there in the other container. Uh, now let's shift this a little to the left side. All right. Now let's test this. Select last two years. You can see these two parameters have shifted this side uh, because the blank sheet has occupied the space now. Now we'll just hide these two parameters. Uh, we'll create a blank sheet. Let's name it as blank sheet. And it's very simple. We'll just create a blank string. So let's name it as blank string. Click OK. And bring this over text. That's all. We'll now uh, we'll use this as floating. So now bring this over start date and end date parameters. Adjust the dimensions. Hide the title. Shift a little this bit here. And just increase the height and width of this. So that you get a blank. All right. You can see um, these two parameters are hidden now. If I select 
custom date. I have these parameters in the visualization. If I select last six weeks, these are hidden. So this is the concept of pop-up parameters. That's all for this video.